Little Johnny was starting his first day at a new school, and his father called the teacher to tell her that Little Johnny was a big gambler. She said that it was no problem, and she has seen worse than that. After Little Johnny's first day at his new school, his father called the teacher to see how it went. How, she said, I think I broke his gambling. The father asked how, and she said, He bet me five doo wallers that I had a mole on my butt, so I pulled down my pants and won his money. Damn, said the father. What's wrong? the teacher asked. Little Johnny's father said, This morning he bet me a hundred dollars he would see his teacher's butt before the day was over. <laughs> Little Johnny is constantly late for school, and what's worse, is that he always has a big lie explaining why. The teacher tells the principal that she has had it with his exaggerations. The principal tells her to send Johnny to him the next time he shows up late. He will tell Johnny a lie so big that he will never tell another one, ever. The next day, Johnny shows up, two hours late. Johnny says, I was two hours early today, so I had time to fish in the pond on my way to school. I caught a 17-pound trout and had to take it home. If I didn't clean it and freeze it, my mum would have been angry. That's why I'm so late. The teacher promptly takes him to the principal's office and explains the story to the principal. The principal tells Johnny about his own trip to school that day. He says, I was walking to school through the park on the trail today when I heard something behind me. I turned around and was shocked to see a giant grizzly bear behind me. He was twenty-four feet tall and had six-inch fangs. He was going to eat me, Johnny. Just then a little dog ran out from the bushes, jumped up and attacked the bear. The little dog killed the bear and then ate the whole bear right there in front of me. What do you think of that, Johnny? Johnny replies, Oh yeah, that's my dog Sparky. That's his third bear this week. The teacher was telling the kids about the birds and the bees. She explained that when a man and a woman meet and fall in love, nine months later, the stork usually brings them a little baby from its nest. Little Johnny, at the back of the class, put his hand up and asked the teacher, Are you sure about the stork, miss? I think you're getting your birds mixed up. My big sister just got a little baby and she said it came from a black pecker at the beach. <laughs> Little Johnny was at school one day when he noticed that there was a large crowd of kids gathered around Little Billy. Little Johnny walks up to Little Billy and says, Hey, what's all the excitement about? Little Billy says, Just showing everyone my new watch. Little Johnny goes, Wow, that's a cool watch. Where did you get it? Little Billy says, well, I walked in on my mum and dad having sex over the weekend, and my dad was so mad, he gave me spanking and sent me to my room. The next day, he feel guilty about what he had done and went and bought me this cool watch. This gives little Johnny a good idea. Later that night, when little Johnny was sent to bed, he stayed up listening and waiting for his mum and dad to go to bed. Once he starts hearing noises coming from their room, he runs down the hall, throws their bedroom door open, and yells, I want a watch. His dad looks over to Johnny and says, Well, okay, but sit in the corner and be quiet. The teacher asks little Johnny if he knows his numbers. Yes, he says. My daddy taught me. Can you tell me what comes after three? Four, answers little Johnny. What comes after six? Seven, answers little Johnny. Very good, says the teacher. Your father did a very fine job. What comes after ten? A jack, answers little Johnny. <laughs> On the last day of kindergarten, all the children brought presents for their teacher. The florist's son handed the teacher a gift. She shook it, held it up, and said, I bet I know what it is. It's some flowers. 
That's right, shouted the little boy. Then the candy store owner's daughter handed the teacher a gift. She held it up, shook it, and said, I bet I know what it is. It's a box of candy. That's right, shouted the little girl. The next gift was from the liquor store owner's son, little Johnny. The teacher held it up and saw that it was leaking. She touched a drop with her finger and tasted it. Is it wine? she asked. No, little Johnny answered. The teacher touched another drop to her tongue. Is it champagne? she asked. No, he answered. Finally, the teacher said, I give up. What is it? Little Johnny replied, A puppy. <laughs> Little Mary came back home after school and said, Mommy, today during the school break, Johnny kissed me on my lips. The mother asked indignantly, but in surprise, And how did this happen? It was not easy, but three of my classmates helped me to hold him firm. In the sex education class, the teacher says, All right, class, I want you to go home and come back tomorrow with as many positions as you can think of for making sex. The next day, she says to little Johnny in the back, Well, John, how many positions did you come up with? Johnny says, Seventy-three. The teacher says, Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, very good, John. Very good. She calls on Becky in the front and says, All right, Becky, how about you? Becky says, Gee, teacher, I only came up with one where the guy just lays on top of the girl. Johnny yells, Seventy-four. The teacher asks little Johnny, What's two and two? He counted one, two, three, four on his fingers and said, Four, teacher. She said, Yes, that's right, but you counted on your fingers. Put your hands behind your back and tell me what's three and three. He put his hands behind his back, fumbled around, and answered, Six, teacher? She said, Yes, that's right, but you're still counting on your fingers. Put your hands in your pockets and tell me what's five and five. He put his hands in his pockets, fumbled around and replied, Eleven, teacher. <laughs> Little Johnny came home after school. Daddy, I have a bad grade in English language. Why? asked his father. Well, the teacher asked us the following question. Mary entered the forest with John and came out of the forest with Mike. What is Mary? How come what Mary is? A whore, of course, said the father. That's what I said, but the teacher answered, Mary was a subject. <laughs> Little Johnny's teacher held a contest one Friday in school. Class, I'm going to give you a famous quotation, and if you can tell me who said it, I'll give you the day off on Monday. The first one is, Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Who said that one? Little Johnny's hand shoots up immediately, but the teacher calls on Little Stevie. Little Stevie says, That was John F. Kennedy, miss. That's right, Little Stevie. You may take the day off on Monday. Little Stevie replies, Actually, ma'am, I'm Jewish, and we believe in education. I'll be here on Monday. The teacher thanks Stevie for his dedication and then says, Our next quotation is, One small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Who said that one? Again, little Johnny's hand shoots straight up because he'd love a day off. But instead, the teacher calls on little Susie. Little Susie says, That was Neil Armstrong, teacher, but just like Stevie... I too am Jewish and believe strongly in education. I'll be here ready to learn on Monday. From the back of the class, little Johnny yells, Fuck the Jews! The teacher whips her head around and shouts, Who said that? Little Johnny replies, Adolf Hitler. See you Tuesday.
Little Johnny was a lazy student and was failing math badly. His parents had enough of this, so they pulled him out of regular school and enrolled him in the local Catholic school. After the first day, he came home, and not a word, and headed up to his bedroom to do his math homework. He was up there four hours until it was all done, the same thing happened the next day, and so on. Several days later, his parents came up to his room and asked, Johnny, what brought this on? You're working your tail off? Johnny replied, When I got to my math class on Monday and saw that guy above the blackboard nailed to a plus sign, I knew they weren't messing around. A priest was talking to a group of kids about being good and going to heaven. At the end of his talk, he asked, Where do you want to go? Heaven, heaven, yelled little Lisa. And what do you have to be to get there? asked the priest. Dead, yelled little Johnny. Subscribe to the channel. This is important. It will help me continue my work.